Hey everybody, it's Mergle, and today I'm on the PTR, and um, just having a bit of fun looking at the new trinkets. A lot of them are pretty cool, and uh, just making this so you can get an idea of how they work, and just let you in on it. It's pretty cool, I, I like them, and if you've been unlucky with Unstable Arcano Crystal, they're kind of making one come into the game. So, Antorus the Burning Throne is the final boss of the next patch and it's the final boss of Legion so uh, it's big Argus the Unmaker he's blue you'd think he'd be green he looks a lot like Agrimar but this is the soul of Argus I believe lore wise this is the world soul so um, it makes sense they look pretty similar they're all from the same kin anyways their trinkets are pretty nice if we get into it you can see there's six of them. One of them is actually legendary. So we're getting a legendary that isn't on the random drop list. This is specifically from Argus the Unmaker. And it's also not part of your two unique ones. You can wear the Amonthal Vision without having to um, unequip something else. But they all start at 940 item level except for Amonthal's Vision, which is our new unstable Arcano Crystal. As you can see, those stats pretty sick. And... Uh, yeah, they're all 940 base item level. Uh, they do not drop an LFR, which makes, you know, sense. Um, they only drop on normal, heroic, and mythic. And it shows them as 940 on all three levels currently. I don't know. I don't think that'll stick. Uh, it might, though. It really might. But, and the reason being is you can upgrade them. So, if we look here, like I said, 940 base. But there's a new item dropping called Pantheon's Blessing. And Pantheon Blessing, increase the power of a Path of the Titan Trinket by 5 item levels up to level 1000. So, item level 1000 being the new cap for legendaries as well as these blessings. That means by the end of it, they'll all be basically legendary item level. Um, if you remember, this is a lot like the Wad Ring upgrade. Works in a similar fashion. It seems to drop off Argus, the Unmaker. So every time you kill him, you're getting an upgrade to your trinket. Now, <laughs> I'll, I'll explain how these Empowered Blessings work, but let's just go over each one right now really quickly. They're base effects. So Agrimar Conviction. Um, take damage has a chance to increase your versatility by 43.54 for 14 seconds with a 29.94 agility. Amon Duel's Vision. It's obviously a very powerful version of the Unstable Arcano Crystal, and then the effect is your spells and abilities have a chance to grant you 2200 speed, avoidance, and leech for 12 seconds. It sounds like a lot of fun using it while farming, because if it procs, you're going to get a speed boost. Uh, I don't know how often it'll proc. It's on a, uh, They're on our PPM proc, so random proc per minute. Um, it means it'll proc pretty often, to a degree, right? At least like once a minute. Uh, a and R's Compassion, 2994 Intellect, your healing effects have a chance to grow an emerald blossom nearby which heals a random injured ally for 66, 892 every 2 seconds, last 12 seconds. Golganeth's Vitality, 2994 Agility, your damage spells have a chance to increase, no, create a ravaging storm at your target's location, inflicting 318,252 nature damage split among all enemies within 6 yards over six seconds that's weird oh it's strength or agility that's why i see now i was like why would why would they have that but now okay i get it uh 29.94 strength your damage abilities have a chance to make your weapon glow hot with the fire of kazgaraz forge causing your auto attacks to do 102 294 additional fire damage for 12 seconds and then norganon's prowess 1370 Mastery, your damage spells have a chance to increase your intellect by 11,483 for 12 seconds. And then if you see on each of those, they have empowered f effects. So there's the Agrimar Fortitude, Amonthal Grandeur, Aonar's Verdant Embrace, Golganoth's Thunderous Wrath, Kazgaroth's Shaping, and Norganon's Command. So you see each of them have empowered effects. Well, the way you make that work is... Um, you have to have individual procs by members of your raid of four different abilities. So the proc of each of these, let's say Anar's Combashion, Golganess Vitality, um, 
Kazgaroth Courage, and Norganon's Prowess. All four of these have to be procced and active at the same time to get the Empowered Effect. And the only people that benefit from the Empowered Effect are the ones that proc it. So smaller raid comps will kind of struggle, but they made it work like this. Amanthul's Vision is a wild card, so you could technically have four Amanthul Visions proc, and the four people that proc their Amanthul Vision will empower. So you could have two, uh, an Agrimar, an ANR, and then two Amanthul Vision, and then boom, you're empowered. If that makes any sense. You have to have four separate procs, but Amanthul counts as any set, so it doesn't really matter how many Amanthul's proc, you're going to be okay. And I think this is why they put this one as a base 1,000 item level, because it's to encourage people wearing it, um, maybe until they get other ones. It also helps with the proccing. I can see a lot of people wearing this anyway, because I know how powerful Unstable Arcano Crystal was. An 860 version of it literally replaced it. I mean, it was a couple months back now when I got a random uh, relinquished proc, but it took me... Um, ages I got that 945 proc that was the only thing that could replace my 860 <laughs> unstable arcano and was actually an upgrade in terms of simming and even that that wasn't close right it was I had to yeah it took a long time to replace that 860 version so I can imagine this is probably going to sim very well for a lot of classes and be extremely powerful so getting empowered doesn't seem like it's going to be all that hard because I can imagine a lot of people are going to use a Monthul's vision even casters Norganon's prowess does sound nice, but I I don't know. It really I guess it just depends. It'll have to see how it works out. Maybe when this reaches a thousand item level, after you get a couple of those pantheon blessings and level it up, it'll be more on par. But who knows? Because you're only allowed to wear one trinket. So if you wear the Amanthuls, you can't also wear Norganon's prowess. They are limited to your specific, you know taste of what you're going to wear but yep that's how it works so you have to have four separate procs to get the empowered blessing this looks really nice if you've been unlucky with the unstable and uh it's got a really fun proc too <laughs> like i said it could be fun for farming i can imagine that 2200 speed will make your character run pretty fast especially if you got a speed gear set up just looks uh really nice and a lot of these trinkets are really cool Anyways, I hope that uh, cleared it up or you enjoyed watching this. Just felt like talking about it because I'm checking that out. It does look nice. Again, these seem to drop in. It says the same item level for all three levels. If that changes, I don't know. It might not simply for the fact that the Pantheon upgrade is available. Maybe these drop more frequently on Heroic and Mythic. So that's probably why the item level doesn't change. But who knows? Thank you for watching, I hope you enjoyed this, and I will see you again real soon. Bye-bye.